Hey everyone, Hungry Cat here. I hope you enjoyed the series I made on the Benton Mackay Trail. On the heels of that hike, I also through hiked the 114 mile Bartram Trail through Georgia and North Carolina, and I created a similar video series. In this video, I'll give a short introduction about the Bartram Trail and my hike. But before I do, here's a short trailer for the video series to come. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully that piqued your interest in seeing more. The video series starts next week, so be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when new episodes are aired. The series is four episodes in total, three in the silent hiking film format that follow the sounds and sights of the trail and my hike, and then one on how to hike the Bartram Trail, the logistics, resupply, and all of those details. In watching the series, you'll get a really good feel for the Bartram Trail, as well as classic Southern Appalachia flora and fauna. On this hike, I saw wild hogs, rattlesnakes, beautiful wildflowers, cascades and waterfalls. I even saw a giant black widow spider, which was a first on trail for me. It really was an awesome experience hiking the trail, and I hope that comes through in the video series and inspires you to get out there and give it a try. Let's talk about the trail for a minute. The Bartram Trail is 114 miles through Georgia and North Carolina. The southern terminus is at Russell Bridge on the Georgia-South Carolina border, where Highway 28 crosses the famous Chattooga River. The northern terminus is on the summit of Chiowa Bald in North Carolina. 76 miles of the trail are in North Carolina and the other 38 miles are in Georgia. The trail roughly traces the path of its namesake, William Bartram, who was an 18th century naturalist who explored and wrote about the area in the late 1700s. I originally got interested in hiking the Bartram Trail after seeing it while hiking and paddling the Chattooga River near Russell Bridge. I really liked the fact that it seemed to be a bit more off the beaten path and that's ultimately why I decided to hike it. It was a little challenging getting data on the trail at first, but I documented everything that I learned and mapped out some waypoints with GPX files. So be sure and stay tuned for the resupply and logistics episode of this series so you can learn more about that if you're interested in hiking the trail. My average mileage each hiking day was a little bit over 20 miles and I hiked the trail in five and a half days. I actually carried all of my food from day one, which was a conscious decision I made even though I didn't have to because the trail goes right through the town of Franklin, North Carolina. You can definitely take your time, do the trail over a longer period of time, and stop and resupply in Franklin roughly halfway through the trail. I hiked the trail southbound. The trail is generally more overgrown and wild feeling in North Carolina and the hiking on the northern section is more difficult than the southern section of trail. For me, the Bartram Trail felt a lot like the Benton Mackay Trail. The terrain was roughly the same level of difficulty. It was very quiet, and I really didn't see a lot of other hikers out there. In fact, I think I only saw three people with backpacks on the entire trip. Because of the timing of my hike in early June, just coming up on summer, and the lack of other hikers, there really were a lot of very overgrown sections of trail. I could always see the trail, but a lot of times I had to push through thick brush, weeds, briars, and other overgrowth to get through. It kind of just all added to a more remote and wild feeling that I got on the hike. I really didn't mind it that much. Because of its distance and having the town of Franklin roughly halfway 
way through in the middle of the trail. The Bartram Trail would be a great first mini through hike for those who might be aspiring to do longer trails. It's also just a good way to train for longer hikes in more remote or difficult conditions. Or if you're already doing a lot of long distance backpacking and you're just looking for something that's a little bit lesser traveled, this is definitely the trail for you. I've left a few resources in the video description below. One is a link to the Bartram Trail Conservancy website and the other is a link to the GPX map files and waypoints that I mapped along the way. This will be a really useful navigation tool for those of you who are thinking about doing all or part of this hike. If you got any value out of this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends or on social media. Doing any of these things is a great way to show support for the content that I'm creating here on YouTube. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you next week with episode one of this Bartram Trail series.